Recently, more than 70 billion was wiped out from the Malaysian stock market in a stock market crash. While many see it as an economic crisis, I know some of you are wondering if it's a good time to start investing in the stock market now. Because Warren Buffett say, when everyone is greedy, you should be fearful. And when everyone is fearful, you should be greedy. So now is the right time to be greedy, don't you think so? So watch until the end of the video to find out which are the 10 stocks that I think are undervalued right now. Hi, welcome back to Mr. Money TV, bringing you the best tips and tools for a better future. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to get notified with the latest money tips. And if you enjoy this video, please help me by checking the like button there because it will really help me with the YouTube algorithm to reach more people with my content. Also, for those of you who are more active on Facebook or Instagram, do follow us there. Now, let's not waste time and jump into today's topic. Since the stock market has crashed the last few days, I've been starting to scout out for companies that are potentially undervalued which I can invest in. Undervalued stocks simply means stock whose market price is lower than the actual price. So let me give you an example. This is 10 ringgit, right? Now, how much do you think it's worth? Well, you may think it's dirty or it's very crumpled. So it can worth less, do you think so? No, right? Actually, whatever you think, it doesn't matter because it is still 10 ringgit. I still can buy the same amount of food with this 10 ringgit in the market. Whether it's dirty or clean, if I put it into the bank account, I will still get the same amount of interest. Whether is it clean or crumbled up or dirty banknote, I still get the same amount of interest. That is what an undervalued stock is. It's a stock that has the value, but the market have not seen it yet or may not think so. So, how do we find these kind of stocks? Well, there are many ways to value a stock, but here in this video, I'm only gonna use one method, which is by comparing the book value of the stock versus the market price per share right now. The book value is also known as the net asset value or net tangible asset. It tells us how much money shareholders will get back if the company stop operating and sell all its asset and pay off its debt. The book value is quite reliable amount because it only takes into account of tangible asset like real estate, inventory, machineries, cash and so on. Intangible assets of a company like patents or goodwill will not be taken into account. So, the book value per share is simply by taking the book value of a company and divide by the number of shares. Let me give you an example. Let's say company A has a factory that's worth 2 million ringgit. They have a cash amount of 500,000 and they have an inventory of 1 million. But they also have a bank loan of 1 million ringgit. So if the company decide to stop operating today and sell off everything and pay off its debt and give back the money to the shareholders, the shareholders will get back 2.5 million. And that's the book value of the company. Now, imagine this. If the owner of company A comes to you and say he wants to sell his company to you at 1 million ringgit, do you think it's a good buy? Surely it is, right? You're buying a 2.5 million worth of asset with only 1 million ringgit. Well, it's like the $10 notes. If I tell you it's dirty and I'm too lazy to bring it home, now I want to sell this $10 note to you right now at 5 ringgit. What do you think? Will you say yes? I'm sure you'll jump off from a seat and run over here to buy this 10 bucks from me at 5 ringgit, right? That's basically our criteria of choosing these 10 undervalued stocks on Bursa Malaysia right now. Let's not delay and these are the 10 companies whose market price per share is lower than the book value per share. Number 1, CIMB Group. CIMB is a leading bank in ASEAN and a foremost corporate advisor. It is also a world leader in Islamic finance and the fifth largest banking group by asset in ASEAN with around 35,000 staff and over 15 million customers. I think many of us has definitely heard of CIMB before and know that it's one of the biggest bank in Malaysia, right? And now the current market price for this share is 3 ringgit and 49 cents. But as we can see, the book value is actually 5 ringgit and 53 cents. So that is quite a lot of value right there. This means you're buying 5 ringgit and 53 cents worth of asset with only only 3 ringgit and 49 cents. How does that sound to you? The second company in the list is RHB. 
RHB, I believe many are familiar as well, is the fourth largest financial services group in Malaysia. With 210 branches in Malaysia, RHB Investment Bank is now the largest investment bank by asset size in Malaysia. And the current market price on Bursa is 4 ringgit and 60 cents. But the book value is 6 ringgit and 34 cents per share. So that means you are buying 6 ringgit and 34 cents of asset with only 4 ringgit and 60 cents. It's a good value, right? And number three in the list, Genting Berhad. I believe this company need no introduction. It is well known for its leisure and entertainment business. It's the only company in Malaysia that has the license to operate a casino. And most of its profit is derived from this sector. The company is also diversified into palm oil plantation, power generation, oil and gas, property development, life sciences and biotechnology activities across all over the world. They have companies in Singapore, Indonesia, India, China, US, UK and even Egypt. This company over the last few years have their share price affected by the dispute between them and Walt Disney over the 20th Century Fox theme park. Although the theme park issue has now come to a settlement, but with COVID-19 right now, they are very much affected by it. So today the share price has reached 3 ringgit and 23 cent at market value. But the book value of the company is actually 8 ringgit and 50 cents per share. This means that you're buying 8 ringgit and 50 cents worth of asset with only 3 ringgit and 23 cents. That is more than 50% discount. Yes, you didn't hear it wrongly. The market price right now is 3 ringgit and 23 cents. But the book value per share is 8 ringgit and 50 cents. So you're using 3 ringgit and 23 cents to buy 8 ringgit and 50 cents worth of assets. That definitely sounds like a good buy to me. Number four in the list, Saim Dhabi Berhad. Saim Dhabi is a Malaysian-based investment holding company that manages Saim Dhabi Group. The group major business activity has six segments, motor, plantation, industrial, property, energy and utility, and others. The motor segment covers the assembly and distribution of vehicle and the provision of after-sales service. For example, Porsche, Volvo, BMW, Ford and Kia. I bet you've heard of these companies. These are brands that did this real. Then, for its plantation segment, they include production of crude palm oil, palm kernel, rubber, sugarcane, cattle products, and other refining of palm oil. Its industrial segment is involved in the trading and rental services of heavy equipment. If you know the brand Caterpillar, they are one of the largest distributors. Its property segment comprises of development of residential, commercial, and industrial property, together with the management and provision of recreational facility. They also have the energy utility segment, which include the provision of engineering service, the management of port facility, and the treatment and distribution of treated water. Other segment it covers healthcare and insurance service. If you guys know Subang Jaya Medical Center, Ramsey Saim Dhabi, that is one of the hospitals that's owned by Saim Dhabi. Now, the current market price of their share in Bursa, Malaysia right now is 1 ringgit and 71 cent. But their book value per share is 2 ringgit and 22 cent. This means you are using 1 ringgit and 71 cent to buy 2 ringgit and 22 cents of asset. Again, that is a good amount of discount. Almost 30%. The fifth in the list, YTL Corp. YTL Corporation Berhad is a Malaysian-based investment holding company and management company. The company includes construction, information technology, e-commerce related businesses, hotel operations, cement manufacturing and trading, management services and others. The company operates businesses in the pre-primary geographic area, Malaysia, UK and Singapore. It has a water and sewage operation in the UK, Wessex Water, it also operates power generation and merchant multi-utility businesses in Singapore. The company's cement plant in Pahang has a capacity of producing 5,000 tons of cement per day. It is focused on construction projects such as the Fennel in Central East, Shorefront in Penang, Dahlia in Ipoh, and Tree Orchard by the Park in Singapore. If you walk into KL when you see Lot 10, yes, that's part of YTL's. I uh, see JW Marriott, that's part of YTL as well. Currently, YTL Corporation is priced on Bursa Malaysia at 67 cents per share. But its book value per share is 1 ringgit and 20 cents. Yep, this means almost a 50% discount. 
using 67 cents to buy one ringgit and 20 cents worth of assets. So these are the five companies that are undervalued currently based on their book value on Bursa Malaysia. Surely, this should not be the only measure that you use to base your investment decisions on. And there are other things such as earnings, cash flow, the economic mode of a company and so on that you need to evaluate. Nonetheless, I hope this will give you some sort of direction of what kind of companies that are on big discount right now on Bursa Malaysia. Certainly, there are more than these 10 companies in the market right now that is clearly undervalued. So do share with us if you have any companies that you find it interesting or you find them undervalued and leave it in the comment below. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mr. Money TV. Happy investing and happy hunting for undervalued stock. See you next time.